What? Welcome everybody to Wilson Club Gaming. I'm Trent. I'm Cap Fireman. And I'm Donnie. He's still Donnie after all this time. Depending on when this episode airs, it might be a week. I'm kind of lazy with the editing, but I shouldn't be admitting that on the microphone. But we're back with more Super Mario Sunshine. And boys, the Sandbird has been born. The <sighs> legendary one. The legendary Sandbird, yes. yes. Don't forget the legendary <sighs> We, I think they, they really delayed this one, because they were like, go get the Cataquax off the satellite dish. Now go get the Wiggler off the thing. Go kill the Wiggler. Congratulations. Sandbird time. Yes. And this is a really infamous level for many reasons. So we're going to see how long it takes me to beat it here today. Beats it first try. And so not the only... I feel like I have to have a good, like, good luck with that, right? Like, the ch challenging levels I've had... Come on, just go up, please. Thank you. Like, the challenging levels I've done first try, like the, um, the Pachinko one. And, uh, what else? I can't remember off the top of my head. But, uh, what were we saying, Jim? I'm sorry. Yeah, this, uh, this is not the most infamous level in this uh, in this section of the world. It's actually level 8. Oh, that watermelon. Yeah, <laughs> the watermelon level. Luckily, the level 8 is uh, completely optional, because that's after you catch Shadow Mario in this uh, level. But if you want 100% completion, you got to do the watermelon challenge. Yeah. It sounds like a TikTok trend or something. Yeah. <laughs> You're wrong. Okay, so you got to get the, the red coins on the sandbird. And then once you do that, you just kind of like have to make sure you position yourself so you don't fall off when you like awkwardly tilt and stuff. Get that. Yep. Oh, oh there you go. <laughs> that one was just my... It's the legendary sandbird! <laughs> the legendary sandbird! Yay! You're like falling to death and then Flood is just like, the legendary sandbird! <laughs> Mario! <laughs> Alright. My voice didn't crack just then, I don't know what you're talking about. I wasn't going to acknowledge it, but thanks. <laughs> I'll make sure to point it out in post-production. Uh, post Get the... Yes, that's uh, how you make it. things funny. What? That's how you make things funny. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I got it this time. What happens if you just stay on the cloud? What? What happens if you just stay on the cloud? Then you're stuck in this terrible cloud world. Yeah. Until you decide to kill yourself. Like, you don't even have an option. It's like, you're just stuck and now you have to die. You yep. must now commit suicide in order to free yourself from this realm. Okay. I'm gonna zoom out the camera a little bit. It's wrong on the tail. There's, there is? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! Why would you do that? Why would you do that to me? Why would you do that? <laughs> oh, you wanna do that? No! No! Mario, fly! Hey, did you see that? <laughs> the legendary set. <laughs> Just say, oh, every yeah. time he dies. Oh, that's gonna get annoying. How does this thing live? I don't know. It lives in a constant state of pain and agony. <laughs> Please, help me! Kill me! I can't land! There's I don't have any feet to land! There's a reason There's a reason I had so many things guarding me. Oh, oh I almost fell off. Actually, I was watching a... I don't know if you're familiar with the creator of video game Donkey or not. No. Oh, yeah. Uh, he, uh, he was playing a... I missed that one up, but whatever. Uh, he was playing a uh, Mario Maker, and they actually recreated the Sandberg level in Mario Maker. Oh, like a that's version. Sick. Like the dedication is insane, but I I would not want to replay this level no matter the circumstances. Yeah. All right, I gotta figure out. <laughs> Did you get them on the camp? Yeah, that was the first one I got this time because I didn't want to deal with that again. Blue coin, yay! It's like putting a bandaid on a bullet wound. Okay, okay, easy, 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 easy. Get over the thing. Get over the neck. Thank you. Why don't you do a full 360 in it? He's like, you want me to see yeah, you want to see me do a flip? <laughs> do a barrel! Do a barrel. My cousin's Falco from Star Fox. Alright. This it's so awkward, man. And then there's also the the as I po we pointed out that like the slopes in this game can like really screw you over if you're not careful. So I'm really worried about that too. And there's so many blue coins in here. I'm looking. I'm not actually going for them. I'm not, I'm not doing. I'm not taking them seriously. I think we're at the top. No, that wasn't as bad as I remember, actually. Thanks for nothing. What is it? These challenging levels, like legendary sand. Like they're not. I want them to be more challenging because we get more content, but then I beat them like first or second try. 
Yeah. <laughs> like, what is going on? I, I guess it's not as bad as I thought it was. I'm just kind of waiting for... Shadow Mario pops up at, like, different intervals and, like, will give you more plot progression. Like, in the overworld. Like, he'll have a rocket nozzle or a turbo nozzle. Or he'll, he'll even have a Yoshi at one point. I must be... I'm, I'm probably pissing off the viewers because I keep going from, like, level to level. Like, I'm not staying in one world and then finishing it all the way through. I'm, like, kind of going in between. Well, it's, you know, it's a variety, you know? Yeah, you don't want to keep all the locales. You want to keep the sphincters tight. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That was... Anyways. Actually, wait, I have ten blue coins. I can show you... I don't know if I showed you this already, John. Because I remember you were asking about these guys in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Bruh, are they raccoons or are they bears? I, uh, they're tanukis. You know, like the tanuki suit? Oh. They're running a black market uh, operation here in Delfino Island. They're ha Isle Delfino, whatever the place is called. Yeah. The, the very uh, power source that they need to run their island. You know, the thing that requires their like state of being and their will to live. They're holding it hostage and selling it to you for ten blue coins. The rarest substance in this game. Yep. <laughs> Screw them. And, like, the cops are like, the cops are like, remember, we'll be watching you, pal. And, like, hey, how about you, like, keep a tabs on these Kanuki guys? They're, like, really shady. These trash pandas over here. <laughs> oh, I forgot we did all the episodes in here. And we don't have Yoshi yet, so we can't do it. Alright, there's no way to exit from the, the level select screen, so you gotta, like, go in and then exit. I forgot we did all of Rico Harbor. Because uh, that that's one of my favorite levels, so I'm it's like... It's weird how you just materialized from level to level. Yeah. <laughs> guess we could do, like, Monkey Bay, maybe. Yeah. I do... I, I, I like the piano piece in Monkey yeah. Bay. No, yeah. it's, not, it's not a piano piece. What am I talking about? It's the... It's like a... What's the instrument called? Not bongos, but like drums of some kind. What? <laughs> Beam me up, Scotty. Beam me up. Okay. Red coins in a bottle. This, Red coins. this this mission's fun. It's unique, at least. But you gotta talk to this geezer again. Well, I like how his fishing pole just phase into the bottle. Ooh. Yeah, he's got the screen slaver goggles. It's not phasing into the bottle. What are you talking about? It was a minute ago. Well, the answer to our polluted ocean is in the bottle. You know, the thing that has nothing to do with the ocean. <laughs> Therefore, I made an area to hone your skills. Boop, bop, 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 bop. Oh, so like this is like a training stage for the next level. Oh yeah. And yeah, but yet it's required to like beat the game, so I don't get it. If you land low, on, if you run low on air, so you have the helmet that is supposed to give you an air supply, but then you'll ro run low on air. How does that make sense? You just run low on air. All right. Uh, now slower. <laughs> There's a cool Easter egg in this level that hopefully I'll be able to. Maybe get it to show up? It's kind of tricky to get to work. I'll get this right point here. If I could sink any quicker, that'd be great. You know what we need to try now? What's up? Is, uh, go to Rocket Fizz and get, like, where the meat flowers. I actually, uh, I was gonna use Rocket Fizz for a punishment, like, because you lost the Trucker Head of Glory episode. Yeah. I was gonna have you try, like, a, a disgusting flavor. Oh. Speaking of Trucker Hat Glory, Levi challenged me to a, a 15 minute who can get the most stars challenge at uh, Super Mario Galaxy. Super Mario 64, I should say. Alright, let's see if I can get it. There's like a. There's an Easter egg in here if I can get it to work. And if I can just clip it through the thing. Why is it not working? Maybe they catch it? No, it, 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 they, I've done it before in this version of the game, I just don't know how to. Maybe it's not that door? I don't know. So, like, behind, there's like a... In the Japanese version of the game. Or in like an early version of the mission. The song that plays in this mission is called, uh... Book, the bottle, the book in the Bottle. And behind the door, there's like a, an unused book. From one of the levels that they forgot to remove. Because they changed the objective of the mission. Yeah. So, it's a cool little easter egg because they left it in. It's like kind of like the uh, Mysterious Island in GoldenEye 007. For Nintendo 64, how they left a, like an island in the background that's supposed to be part of the level itself. I like I like those videos where they're like, oh, here's hidden stuff in the background that's not used. It is pretty cool. So, I like how like in Free Guy, 
Yeah. Have any have you guys seen that? Let's no. Fun movie. Yeah. Oh you haven't seen it? No. Oh. Well. I just wanna get I just wanna I just wanna be cool, that I just wanna Spoiler the whole plot of the no, movie. You, you can say it. Oh, oh, I got it. I got it. Let's see if I can make it. Come on. Oh. Come on. No, oh, I seen it. Oh, oh there's yeah. the book. Do you see it? Yeah, I seen it. So, yeah, the, the book. The, the unused book of the bottle. <laughs> Which, I don't know, I always thought it was cool. I like it when, like, you. There's, like, cool, like, lore and stuff behind games. But, like, they even did that free guy where, like, if, when he was looking at the uh, reflections in the game, yeah, you could see a hidden island behind the walls. Oh yeah, so it's like that was pretty cool. Yeah, I like how many like different things they had in it. Like they had Mega Man's gun and like a lightsaber. And... <laughs> yeah, well, it got bought by Disney like midway through, and they were like, let's just go full on in with the in jokes. Let's do all the Easter eggs and stuff. They even had Fortnite. It, Unfortunately. Yeah. Same with uh, Endgame. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They did it better in Endgame, I, I um, imagine. Oh, yeah. Although, I know Fortnite gets a lot of hate. It's not a terrible game, it's more so the community. It's kind of cringy. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, I play Fortnite, like, it's fine. I play with my friends. Well, I think they're doing the whole no build thing, right? Yeah. Which makes the game so much better. So they've updated it a bit to like kind of. Oh, I don't know what the word is, but basically, basically, since they added the no build, you can now like scale walls and stuff like that. So if you go up to a wall and you reach the top, if you press space again, your character will grab the top of the wall and lunge themselves over it. It's pretty so, cool. Because normally you would be building a ramp to just go over the wall, but now you can just lunge over it, and it's is, so much better. Is the no-build thing, like, permanent, or are they just, Yeah, uh, well, that's two different game modes. You can either do, like, duos, squad, solo of no-building, or duo, squad, solo of building. So it's two different game modes, and you can do whatever you want. Some people prefer the building, some people don't. Well, I feel like, it, I mean, I can see, like, both sides do it, but at the same time, like, it kind of removes the uniqueness of Fortnite in a way, doesn't it? Not really. Because, like, they got all the crossovers, and plus, Fortnite, it's a little more cheery, I guess, than a lot of shooter games. I love the the architecture of this underwater city. Yeah. It's like Atlantis. Now, here's the unique boss, but he's not really rememberable in this, this entire boss is like a PSA, basically, and I'll, I'll get to why in a second. Just slowly falling to the bottom of the earth. I think you see his eyes the whole time. It's pretty ominous. This is like. Oh, it's never mind. I was gonna say, so it's like Mario Peach. But like Mario with the Mario Brothers and. Each, like the only humans, but there's a uh, Polly and there's there's Mario and Waluigi. Yeah, Mario and Waluigi. And there's Daisy. There's Rosalina. Although I don't think she's human. Rosalina? Yeah. No, she's a human. Did you not read her? I know, but she could like do things with stars and stuff like that. So well, she I probably mean... learned how to become one with the galaxy or some BS. I don't know. Yeah. So I don't think she's like a human. Maybe she's like a celestial. You're not a human. You're a freak. Yeah. You're a freak! I'm thinking she's more along the lines of, like, some kind of celestial being. I don't know. Well, she hadn't, she hadn't been human, right? Because her, her storybook is her talking about how she was, like, born on Earth or something, right? It doesn't necessarily mean anything. I mean, Peter Quill was, uh, born on Earth, but he's part celestial. Well, that's complicated. Yeah, he, it's complicated. He's related to Kurt Russell, okay? <laughs> we'll give him, a, give him a pass. Not David Hasselhoff, because I thought he was going to be. At least they referenced it. Yeah, at least they Ah, uh, yes, you are killing a water creature by giving it water. That, yeah. Well, I'm cleaning off his teeth for him. Oh, yeah. oh, what kills him is the bill. <laughs> That's what kills him. <laughs> That's a good one. American dentistry. <laughs> you are done, and then they would be like, oh, that's, uh, ten grand. Yeah, it's very awkward to control here. It's like, ten grand? 
ten grand. Oh yeah, right, you're right. Just follow quick fire, please. Oh, I need coins. <laughs> oh, 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 you get a dentist to, uh... Did you say Snorlax bit? Yeah. It's Snorlax. Snorlax. It's not like it's Snorlax. Like, Snorlax the... I said Snorlax. Pokemon. I said Snorlax. Whatever you mean? Whatever you say, man. I don't know. Maybe it's Snorlax. I don't know. It's not like too hard to think. What the... Wait. Did I lose? What happened? What happened? No. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, now I gotta fall slowly back down. I like how it hits two faces. It's weird. Two faces this year, one mouth. It's weird. Yeah, I didn't really think much of it until I looked, looked at it closer. I'm like, that is weird. Like, you know what? It has, like, different eyebrows on each side. It's like yeah. a male and a female. Would you take out the trash? I'll take out the trash as soon as you go find a job. Whoa, 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 I'm out of here. It's a hungry, hungry hippo. Hungry, hungry eel. Yeah. It's the... It's, the, it's a less creepy version of the eel from uh, Mario 64. Alright. One more tooth. One more tooth. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Just get over there. It is so much harder to control than, like, you think it's going to be. But yeah, I guess if you're using a water-powered jetpack to clean the mouth of an eel, you son of a gun, you. Get back up here and fight me, you coward. Okay, let me do my really long, spinny animation, and then I'll come back up. <laughs> <laughs> so, the two faces, the two faces of SpongeBob and a very abrasive SpongeBob. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right here I come, finally. Okay. It's I win, tails you lose, Batman. You just get over there, please. Why are you using teeth? Finally, see, look, it's a PSA to take proper care of your teeth. Thank you, Super Mario Sunshine. I would have never guessed. Popcorn. It's a double tooth. It looks like a popcorn. Kind of. Which turns into a shine spray. Wow. It's the, the dumbest and weirdest mission I have to, like... It's amazing how, <laughs> like, everything turns into a star, star sprite. Yeah. Star sprite? Yeah. Really? That's what they're called? That makes it funny. I'm are you sure about that? What are they called? <laughs> are you sure? Shine sprite. Shine sprite. Whatever, it's a star. Mm. It looks like a sun to me. It looks like a star. You know, sun of mine. Okay, but it's, what is a star? What's a star? Yeah. A star. No. It's a thing. Of, it's a ball of Shine. gas. Shine! It's a big ball of gas. A sun is a star. So it's the same thing. The up. Uh, okay. Yeah, Shine uh -huh. look it. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. What, what's next? Pew! 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 Get Yoshi. So we could chuck him into a tape. I wish. Uh, we gotta wait for Shadow Mario to show up with a Yoshi egg. Il piantissimo. You pokey little flat biscuit. I don't know why, but when you said that, that reminded me of that one fairy from Fairly Odd Fairy. Oh, Fairly Odd Fairy. Wandissimo? Yeah, Wandissimo. <laughs> Ho ho ho, foolish man. I am Il piantissimo. Yes, that is me. And now I challenge you to a race to that flag. Dude, you're going down. It's a race to be finished. It's time. Are you ready? I like how I there's people in the Mario universe who are just like, I want to just race, uh, challenge this guy to race. Don't know, I'm just mad at him. But I'm going to race him. Well, I'm beating him. It's like Koopa the Quick up in here. Actually, someone, um... Uh, they dug through the game's files and they discovered that Under the Mask is the running man from Ocarina of Time. So, he, he like challenges Link to races. But he always wins, but like, like, he'll show up there before you even though you never see him run past you. Yeah. So it's like never possible to beat him. What up, you pokey little flat biscuit? It took you a while, huh? You are quite speedy. You may not be a skilled clam chomper. We will maybe reach again. Watch for me. Thank you. Bro, have you seen that, uh... Did your kid make that fly for you? <laughs> have you seen Fairly Odd Parents is getting a reboot? Live action reboot? Oh, I... It's out, and I've seen, like, and I've seen, like the oh, first episode. Oh, it's out already? Oh, dude, it's it's the worst. Yeah. It's, it is the absolute it dog worst. It's kind of stupid, because they're, like, canceled Fairly Odd Parents just to immediately reboot it. Yeah. Like... Which mm -hmm. Hartman's blowing in his grave, and he's not even dead yet. <laughs> I find it 
It's weird because I heard that Vicky has a thing for Mr. Crocker now. Oh. Yeah. Aren't they like, there's a huge age gap Yeah, there, there is because she's like the principal now or something. She's a teacher. What about, pre- there's principal, what's her name? Waxaplaxa, right? Yeah, but now. Hello, students. Yeah. But now Vicky's either a teacher or a principal now. And now she has the thing for Mr. Crocker. Oh. Yeah. That's kind of weird. She was 16 in the original co- cartoon. Yeah. Which mean, and Crocker was like 50s or 40s or something. Because yeah. he lived in his parents' basement. Which is all kinds of weird. Um, it's weird now because, like, that it's just the fairies there cartoon. But then if you go to Fairy World, you are also a co- our cartoon. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Because, like, you know, they have Mr. Crocker in there, and he's real, but then they show him going to Fairy World, and now he's his cartoon self from uh, the original Fairly Odd Parents. I, I don't know, man. I just... This is the... This is really awkward uh, obstacle course level. And then on top of that, it looks like... Cosmo and Wanda are being shown like all the time, even though one of the rules was you're not allowed to show your fairly odd parents. Or fairly odd parents. Well, they only show them to like the kids that like have the like, co-own them, right? They have like co. Yeah, them. that's the rule. But if you don't, if one doesn't have a fairy odd parent, fairy godparent. Well, like there's two kids that share Cosmo and Wanda. Anyway, but... Yeah, but like they're showing them to like everyone outside. Of Gosh, them. okay. Those it's... just those two. Which takes away from, like, the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, come on. Like, they already had the live-action movies where Timmy kept Cosmo and Wanda. We can't really do live-action movies because Drake Bell's, uh, predisposed. Yep. Childhood ruined there. Yeah. They, someone redid the Drake and Josh theme, but they, like, they just had Josh in it and they censored over Drake. I can't get up there. This is it's very awkward. But how am I supposed to do that? Okay, hold on. Okay, here, here. Wall jump off of the desk. I can't, it's not letting me go off at an angle, so I can't really. There we go. Never mind, I, I should trust you, John. <laughs> Those I don't know what changed, I did it the exact same way. I said it, that's what changed. Shut up. You're going the right way for a smack ball on my bat rate. <laughs> okay, here we go. We should play Shrek. No. Oh, that game! Oh, that ga- that gave me a headache. I'm, not, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't kidding when I wrote that in my video. I was like, that gave me the worst headache. You know what's worse though? Phantom Menace. Couldn't even oh, play that, that, game. that game. Oh yeah, we made it like two levels in that. Just like we're done. Tap out. Yeah. Well, like we were gonna keep going, but then like uh, during the second level, we meet Jar Jar Binks and he just runs ahead and gets shot. Yeah, and like it, the game didn't allow us to move yet. Like it was still like in the middle of a cutscene. Cut mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, how are we was, supposed to do that? And it was like one of those missions: protect Jar Jar Binks. Yeah, but, but you gotta like, but you, like he just said, runs ahead and gets shot before we're out, even out of the cutscene. I mean, granted, the fan base probably would have wanted that. No offense to Ahmed Best, but that's I, funny. But, Have you seen the new uh, Chip and Dale movie? Uh, I've not seen the movie. I've seen clips though. Okay, so you know about Ugly Sonic? Yeah, Ugly Sonic. Yeah, they had uh, a plan that if somehow Sega came to sue them, because they didn't get permission for that. Yeah. Uh, that they were just going to use Jar Jar Binks instead. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't reach out to Sega to like have Ugly no. Sonic kook. No. And they, they, the way they did it, it was totally. Oh, there we go. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> don't know. I, I was hoping I'd land on the peg, but now there we go. All that progress. Wasted! The way they did it, uh, it was completely illegal. Like, Sega can't do anything. It's because, like, it's a, an early design of a character they didn't use? No, so basically, Sega has the rights to that original use, but the way Disney did it, they, A, only referred to him as Ugly Sonic, never as Sonic, just Ugly Sonic. Yeah. B, his the blue on his quills are, yeah. is a different color. Uh, C, he wears a jacket and he has like a pot belly and bangs under his eyes. So, between all those things, it's classified as a parody, which uh, means they're allowed to use it. Well, do they make any reference to anything other, like any, uh, anything else Sonic related? No. 
just that he got kind of because the whole thing with Chip and Dale the movie is uh someone's going to like kidnapping cartoons right yeah but no like the cartoons that was just it that was just, all these cartoons are just actors and so they're all their TV shows that was it it was just a TV show it never happened it actually happened so like Ugly Sonic when he got fired from the Sonic movie kind of just went downhill <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah, so. It's a terrible design. And everyone's saying, oh, give up this Sonic a chance. I'm like, no, that design was, it's, it's like, the reason that it was in the movie is because it, it's intentionally yeah. bad. Everyone's like, we did not just bully a movie company for you all to start sipping over their original <laughs> design. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what happened. Have you seen Sonic the Hedgehog 2 yet, Jim? No. No. It's good. Good. It's a good watch. A lot of fun. I'm just more concerned about if they did keep their original design. That, no, how I, would have tails and knuckles look? I don't want to think about it. <laughs> Alright. I wonder if they're going to be adding like, any more characters like good guys. Probably. I wonder. Maybe Amy. Amy they're, they're going to have to add Amy like, at this rate. She's the original Sonic Sim. Yeah. S out MP. S to the R to the M to the P. Oh, don't, 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 don't. That level is awkward. Jeez. It is. <laughs> I think it's the hardest one. I could be wrong, though. Don't quote me on that. Sorry, it's 8.30. Oh. Yep. Well, we spent most of our time fiddling with the Xbox trying to get it to work for Spongebob. But it didn't work. Spongebob. Yeah. <laughs> I felt... I felt useless because Jim, Jim was doing all the work and I, I didn't know how to help. Sponge boy, me mom. Well, the thing is, like, to be fair, my my game room is like, there's just so many wires back there, it's just kind of That's fair. a mess. There's <laughs> nothing compared to my computer. Actually, hold on, do you think, do, I can't remember if we did this or not, but when we did Drake of the 99 Dragons, did we, like, I think I might have brought my Xbox, do you remember if we hooked up mine and it worked fine and it was just something wrong with your Xbox? I don't I don't know. I don't know. Well, like, it was coming through on the laptop. Like, you, the capture was coming through. It just wouldn't come through on the TV. So. I just noticed those are houses under the water. What? Oh, they are. Huh. That's kind of cool, actually. Hey. If I could spray you with water and you get hurt, how come you can swim? Yeah, right. <laughs> Is it water pressure? Is that the thing? It might be. Because you're sent to I mean, if you're getting blessed with a fire hose, it doesn't have to feel great about it. You're essentially just carrying around a power washer on your back. Power washers can do some serious damage. So there's a guy there's a guy on the internet named LA Beast. Yeah. He uh shaved his face with a beard like a power he shaved his beard with a power washer. Yeah. He just shows you. I didn't I never saw that. It must have been some like more recent. <laughs> he uh he might have done a while ago. Oh come on. Come on, man! I'm, I'm good at this game, guys. I'm really good. Yes, I'm really good at this game. Let's try it again. <laughs> oh, nice. I think the more you say it, the worse you're doing. <laughs> yeah. Doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Yeah. And some, some of these. these. <laughs> and some of these. Almost there and done. What are you sweating about? You're the one that's sitting up here waiting for my slow butt to get up here. He's just dodging me at this point. I... I'm in trouble. Get over here, you imperfect clone of me. Ugh. I'm not just saying that because you're a darker color. And there we go, we're cancelled. <laughs> That's why I specifically stated. No, don't go back all the way down there, what are you doing? Dude, could you just calm down? We already know you're not me, okay? We, we know you're Bowser Jr. Why are you still put up with the disguise? We already figured that out. If you're joining us now, you've uh, made a great mistake. If you're just now learning about Sunshine, what are you doing? Well, you didn't know this was... You've you never seen anything about this game until now. About it. It's fair. <laughs> jump, jump, spray. Oh, my good lord. Child, if you don't sit. Oh. 
Shout. Yeah. Well, he's a shout. Uh, uh, so, assaulting a minor! FBI <laughs> <laughs> opened it! Uh, there was a theory going around that uh, Bowser Jr. is just Bowser from the past. Well, he does look like. Did he look the same? Like, well, they explain in this game that it's Bowser's son. Yeah, but like the baby Bowser from um, Yoshi's World and stuff, he kind of looks like Bowser Jr., which I guess makes sense if Bowser Jr. is a younger version. Yeah, well, in Game Theory, I forget which video it was, they went into a whole theory about it, and they even brought this up saying, yeah, we know he said he's uh, his son, but. And then they went into the What the heck? Game. I'm spraying him! That's strange. Die what? already! The anger is getting oh, real. This, this, we got, uh, this we got a cursed game. It's not actually... I need to call it or something. It's not actually Shadow Mario, it's some .exe character. Right. <laughs> after this, we're doing, I'm gonna do one more shine after this and then we'll call it a night. There we go, he's finally down. Suck it! There he goes. I won't forget this. It's probably the most difficult Shadow Mario one. Well, there's no ground in this level, it's just all water. Yeah, and, he's just and then for the majority of the levels, it's poison water, so you can't even touch it. Yeah, it's lean. It's lean. The purple man, he's hopped up on the stuff. Purple guy. Hello, hello. All right, one more shine. We're gonna try a new level because Noki Bay can eat a fat one. My brother in Christ. <laughs> my brother. <laughs> That's like my favorite thing now. <laughs> Whenever people are like that. It is pretty funny. Right. Like when somebody's like, Subway sucks, somebody will go, My brother in Christ, you made the sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> like you told them how to do it. <laughs> Alright. The secret of the dirty lake. Oh, two more episodes and we'll be done with uh, Bianco Hills, too. Secret of the dirty lake. But like some dude was like complaining. That his truck takes like a lot of gas, and then somebody's like, They're "My brother in Christ, you brought the truck." Yeah, but at the same time, like, uh, I mean, I could feel for the I, guy I, though, because I have a pickup truck. Yeah. Whoa. That's why you were driving me today. <laughs> I still have been used. I think is that the is that the entrance to this one or is it the other one? For the, this is the one in the back. Okay. What'd you say, John? Volcano. We're not there yet. We're not there. Are we there yet? <laughs> we'll get there when we get there. Dad, what does the execution of the gorilla in 2016 have to do with the COVID-19 pandemic? We'll get there when we get there. Honestly, my kids are going to have it so easy. They didn't have to live through a pandemic. <laughs> oh, yeah, but we get it for up that we live through a pandemic. Like, Dan, I feel, I feel sick. I don't want to go to school today. Oh, yeah, well, it's mine. <laughs> we had to go into work, especially me, because I, I was working at a grocery store. I had to go. I was, apparently, I was essential. I, was essential. I like how they give you this turbo nozzle right as they launch you into a level when they take the flood away. Yeah. <laughs> Very smart, Nintendo. You stay classy. Oh, yeah. It's a big brain time. <laughs> oh, it's this one. Wait, is this the right one? Mario World's a weird. I feel like I did this one a lot previous episode. Right? Yeah. This, this specific game is weird, that's the thing. Well, no, it's just like you got so many levels that are just in nothingness. Yeah. Like. The void. Yeah. Like you're in a void with train tracks around, wrapped around it. Like. Yeah. Or is that a picket fence? Who knows? I don't know. And then on top of that, it's just random blocks just in the middle of nowhere. Oh, they move too. It's Rubik's Cube. Does that look like Rubik's Cube to you? Yes, it does actually. What kind of Rubik's Cube are you playing? Dude, there's a one by one Rubik's Cube. So, how do, I mean. How do you solve it? <laughs> you pick it up and you put it down, it's solved. <laughs> no, that's stupid. I'm wasting money. Whoa, almost fell off there. Uh, no, but like, there's a world record for. Solving that Rubik's cube, it's like point two six seconds. Uh, gee, I wonder why. Yeah, no. you can't solve it. Somebody should. Everyone try and beat it by going. <laughs> they like try picking up, hit the buzzer, put it down before. That's so stupid. How have we devolved as a society? 
<laughs> if you ever feel stupid, just remember, people still think the Earth is flat. Well, Jim, this is actually, hold on, I want to ask you. It's up to you, because uh, after this one, I think it should be the Shadow Mario level of, this, of uh, Bianco Hills, and then uh, we'll be done with Bianco Hills. But do you want to just, do you want this to be the last shine, or should we just do the Shadow Mario, and then call it a night? If I can make uh, it. Okay, cool. It's up to you. I mean, we've been going for a little bit now, so yeah. we can just save it oh. for later. Okay, here we go. Yes. 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 Come, my friends. <laughs> no! <laughs> 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 oh, I'm going to chuck the control through my laptop. Oh, this is... Oh. Oh. Yes, I think this should definitely be the last. All right. Yeah. yeah I've decided. <laughs> I've decided. I'm done with this game. <laughs> yeah. There's just something about it, you know. Something. It just occurred to me. Yep. It's train track. Okay. There's a train going on it. Thanks. There's. Whoa. Back onto the Rubik's cube. You got a Rubik's cube, John. It is. It's right there at the end too. And, uh, well, how, you can re you can reach out and grab ledges. Instead, you bumped off it like a like an idiot. Oh. oh. Oh, they give and like the best thing about it, they give you a one up on this elevator ride. So if you die, you can grab the one up and you can keep trying it over and over again. It's an endless loop. It's infinite, infinity. Because like you could uh, grab the one up and keep getting that life back. So you perpetually won't die. Compare this to games of yesteryear, where if you died, you had to put in, like, money, your hard-earned cash, to go play it again. All their games were pay to win, too. Yeah. I know, everyone's complaining about it. Well, let's pay, like, $50 for a loot crate. Well, now you know what we had to go through. We had to go through, yeah, we threw up on consoles that we plugged in. Yeah. Cool, easy. Just like, mm -hmm. cool. Okay. And there's somebody, there's like a building downtown yep. that's just banging. Good job. Somebody should open an arcade right there. Yeah. Well, Although we do. What are you talking about? Um. Yes. It's a there corner building. I'm trying to think what's right next to it. Is it? Does it have the lo Nazi floor tile? Yes. <laughs> Long story. That's. We'll talk about that another time because I'm. I'm tired. I'm tired. I want to go home. Drink a chalky milk. Go to bed. Pop a chalky milk. Actually, we, we, we might get, I might get food after this. I don't know. But this has been a very excruciating episode of Wilson Club. Actually, only the ending was pretty bad. I've been Trent. I'm Gavin Parman. And I'm Donnie. We're still Donnie after all this time. We probably will still be Funny Donnie joke. Next time. I'm just kidding. Alright, we'll see y'all later. Have a good night. And always remember to buckle your seatbelt. Stop there.